Today on Addicted to Gear, we're going to be taking a look at the new X Mighty Air. Welcome back to another episode of Addicted to Gear. My name is Tony. Today we're taking a look at this pretty cool device by Nuex. It's called the Nuex Mighty Air. And what it is, is basically a mini amplifier in a portable box. And what is not to like about technology that allows you to play your guitar without any hassle from pretty much anywhere you get the urge to do so. So what I really like about this unit is A, it's not very expensive, it's portable, it has wireless capability so you can transmit right from your guitar wirelessly with the wireless transmitter. It has the ability to sync up with your phone and you can use it as a standalone Bluetooth speaker and use it to play your music through it. It has built-in uh, metronome and drum uh, sounds that you can use to sync along with your playing. You have the ability to use the aux in to also pipe in some other music. You can use a phone jack to connect to earphones so that you don't disturb people when you play uh, this device wherever you are. And it just does a lot of different things very easily and allows me to play my guitar. So let's say you're going away on a trip, you're going camping or you're going with your friends away for a weekend or something like that and you still want to have the ability to play a guitar, especially if it's an electric guitar, well you don't want to carry an amplifier with you but this little device doubles as an amplifier and a Bluetooth speaker. So all you have to do is charge up the device, it comes with a standard cable that you can use to charge up the unit it has a built-in battery that will hold a charge and you will also charge in the wireless transmitter this little guy that you would plug into your amplifier pair up the two devices by holding the button on the transmitter as well as the button right here at the top of the mighty air and you're in business you're basically synced up and you'll be able to hear your guitar sounds directly from the speaker. Now the speaker is loud enough to play in a home or in a studio or in a bedroom. It's not designed to play with a band. I'm sure somebody out there is gonna ask me whether it can keep up with the drummer. It's not designed to do that. The speakers that are in here are quite small. They're probably about two and a half to three inches in diameter, so they're not very big, but they do uh, offer enough volume to play at home and that's really what the unit is designed to do. Now once you have the sounds uh, lined up and you're playing them through your guitar you can edit those sounds through the software that you can download through the Apple Store or Android Store and just be able to use that software to edit all of the sounds. So you're not really limited to five sounds there are five sounds that you could save but within those sounds you have the ability to tweak not only the amplifiers or the effects or the reverb modulation sounds but you're also you know able to tweak all of those sounds uh, all the way down to irs that are si simulating cabinets right and once that's done and you have a tweak just the way you want it with a simple press of a button you're able to save those default settings and you have them at your disposal. And then when, it, when you get tired of those, you can tweak them up, change them around, and you know experiment with different cabinets and amps and pedals and whatever you wanna use to get the sound that you like, it, it is there. Now one of the things that I really like about this unit is that the learning curve is not very steep at all. It's 
pretty straightforward. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's even redundant to a certain degree because the controls that you have here to control things like gain, volume, tone, delay, and reverb are all available directly within the editing software as well. So you don't need to have the editing software with you. You can do a lot right from the unit itself but if you want to get down and dirty, you can, and you can dive into the editing capabilities to your heart's content. The other thing I like about this unit is that it does come with an onboard metronome that you can easily just use the tap button at the top here and be able to sync your uh, tempo to whatever beat per minute you want to have and, and play with or practice with. You also have the, the ability of using the aux in to be able to pipe in some music. You have a headphone output that you can use so that you can play silently in your room and not disturb anyone. And once again, as I mentioned at the top of the video, you can also use this as a standalone Bluetooth speaker system. So if you just want to rock out some great music and enjoy it, you can play it through this as well. The new X Mighty Air really has a lot to offer. I was really impressed with the Mighty Plug that they uh, released a while ago and I have a video on that as well and that sounded pretty good as well. There's a lot of overlap because the editing capabilities and software are pretty much the same for both devices, uh, but this one does have the added capability of actually being able to play through the speakers and not just through the headphones, which some people will like better than the independent Mighty Plug. And you can see that in the editor, we now have the ability to work with either a guitar or a bass. In this case, we're gonna use a guitar. We have clean overdrive distorted uh, acoustic guitar simulator and the save button here at the top. Under that we have, this is the actual effects that are available for each one of the simulations. This is basically all of the effects in your signal chain. Then below that we can see that we have an amp selected. In this case, it's a Jazz Chorus 120. And if we just scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see these are all the settings that I have currently on the amp. So let's turn up the volume on the guitar, strum a couple of chords to hear what it sounds like. As you can see, sounds very chorusy. Definitely sounds nice. Looks um, and sounds a lot like what you would expect to hear from a Jazz Chorus 120. Of course, here we can obviously change the gain structure. Although the Jazz 20 doesn't typically have much gain, if we maximize that, you'll see. It just becomes a little louder. But it still stays pretty clean. Uh, obviously we have bass, middle, treble, and tone here. And then if we wanted to actually add some additional effects, we can look here and select either a noise gate. In this case, a jazz chorus is pretty clean. The noise gate is currently off. If you want to turn it on, you would just click that and you see now that the gate is engaged. Threshold and sustain both as 50%, but in this case, it wouldn't really be necessary because the sound is clean overall anyway. So I'll turn that off. And uh, the next one over, we have a couple of different options here for effects and I'll scroll down the list as you can see. We have Univibe, Tremolo, Phaser, Boost, TS Drive, which I guess is a Tube Screamer, 3-band EQ, a Muff, Church, Red Distortion, Morning Drive, and Distortion 1. Um, so for example, if I wanted to use the Univibe, I would take that and turn it on. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Definitely gives you that nice swirly effect. Obviously, you can play with the, the rate and the depth. So if you want to make the rate a little bit slower, as you can see, that's a lot slower.
pretty nice sound. So I'm gonna follow up this video with an independent video specifically for the editor because there's a lot going on under the hood and that I think merits its own video. So if you're interested in picking up one of these devices, I'll put the links down below to where you can get it. You can get the information on the NUX website. They have some good demos there as well. You can check those out. So I highly recommend you stay tuned for the follow-up video where we're gonna go through the editing capabilities of the software. I think you're gonna be impressed with some of the sounds that we get through the unit. And uh, I think that'll pretty much sell you on it, in my opinion. I'm sold just by the ability of having the flexibility of taking this thing wherever I wanna go. I can put it in my car and take it to work and practice at lunchtime if I want to, uh, which is a great option for me. So if you like this video and you like the content that we're presenting right here on Addicted to Gear, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to hit the little bell icon, otherwise you won't be notified whenever I post some other great videos. You'll be missing a whole bunch of cool stuff coming your way. So that's it for now, guys. Please stay tuned, keep rocking, because there's going to be more great stuff coming your way right here on Addicted to Gear. So I'll see you soon.